Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we're still discussing the orthocenter and its properties. In the previous two videos, we've discussed the properties of the orthic triangle and we've seen that it has uh, really lots of nice properties. And in this video, we'll actually be discussing the orthocenter itself without its orthic triangle. So even without its orthic triangle, it is really powerful and the orthocenter itself has uh, lots of cool properties. So you can see from the title that today you are going to be reflecting the orthocenter. So let's take a deeper look at our diagram. So as you can see, we have a triangle ABC and with H as the orthocenter. A point M is just the midpoint of the side BC and we have drawn the circumcircle of the triangle ABC. Okay, so actually we're, we'll, uh, we will be reflecting the orthocenter H twice today. The first time, we're, we're going to be reflecting it over the side BC. So H uh, has the image H prime after, reflect, after uh, the reflection over BC. So this is H prime, the first reflection. And the second reflection is with respect to the midpoint M. So we should call this H prime prime. So you can see uh, clearly from the diagram that H prime and H prime prime both lie on the circle or on the circumcircle of the triangle ABC. But why is that the case? Is it a special case for our triangle ABC? Well, you can check yourself by drawing the triangle ABC maybe on GeoGebra and you can see that uh, no matter how you uh, play with the triangle ABC, you will always get this uh, true. So you, you will always get that H prime and H prime prime, which are the images of H after the reflection with respect to the side BC and the midpoint of BC will always lie in the circle. So let's actually see why is this true. Let's prove it. Actually, luckily, this is uh, not difficult. So to prove this, we need just to show that this angle first of all let's prove it for H prime so we need to show that this is a cyclic quadrilateral A, B, H prime and C so we just need to evaluate the angle B, H prime, C so we need just to evaluate this angle to show that it is pi minus A but because H prime is a reflection uh, it's the reflection of H over the side BC we can know that this in fact is just this angle so because of the properties of the reflection we already know that uh, BHC BH prime C is the same as BHC so this angle is the same as this angle but we already know that the angle BHC is pi minus A, right? We have discussed this in previous video. So that means that indeed this is just pi minus A, which means that A, B, H prime, C is a cyclic quadrilateral. So we are done. We have already proven that H prime lies on the circumcircle. So now let's prove this for the H prime prime. Okay, so now let's prove this for H prime prime. So, in a similar way, we just need to know the angle, the measure of the angle B H prime prime C. So let's draw this. Okay, and let's uh, use the properties of reflection again. So let's draw this one here. Okay. So actually, because H prime prime is the reflection of H over the midpoint of BC, that is M, actually B H C H prime prime is a parallelogram. And you can easily prove this. So that means that this is, this is parallel to this and this is parallel to this. Which means actually that this angle is the same as this angle. And again, that means that B 
H prime prime C. This angle is the same as the angle BHC, which again is just uh, pi minus A. So that means that this angle is pi minus A, which means that AB H prime prime C is just uh, a cyclic quadrilateral, which means that H prime prime lies on the circumcircle, and basically we are done. Okay, so so as you can see, no matter what the triangle ABC is, uh, we have actually proven that the reflection of H over the side BC and uh, with respect to the midpoint of BC, that is M, will always lie on the circumcircle of ABC. And actually, this is really cool and this is really powerful because in lots of times when you are solving a complicated geometry problem, which maybe involves the orthocenter, you should always think of this because in lots of problems, uh, complicated ones, you're solving, for example, a, pro a problem that involves the orthocenter, and suddenly you realize that if you reflect H over BC, your problem will be simplified or even solved, or sometimes you need to reflect it over M. And just use the nice properties that H prime and H prime prime lie on the circumcircle. So this is basically uh, the reflecting the orthocenter. So as we ha as we have seen. Uh, so far, the orthocenter itself has uh, really lots of cool properties and we have dug uh, deep in the nature of the orthocenter. We have discussed the orthic triangle, the cyclic quadrilaterals that it contains and that the orthocenter is the in-center of the orthic triangle and even reflecting the orthocenter will uh, lie on the circumcircle. So after doing this, uh, I believe that we are good to leave the orthocenter and start maybe with a new center of a triangle to discuss its nature, nature and its properties. So see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video.